Today, we're going to talk a little bit about being treated unfairly. That's something none of us like. So have you ever been treated unfairly? I bet you have. Maybe one time your brother got ice cream and you didn't. Aw, man. Or maybe your older siblings got to stay up late to watch a movie and you had to be in bed by 10. That's so not fair. Or maybe your teacher always calls on someone else, even though you're always volunteering. Who wants to solve the problem? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Christopher? Man. Well, in today's lesson, we'll hear about another parable of Jesus, one in which some men felt they were being treated unfairly. Join us today as we hear about the parable of the vineyard workers. Over the last few weeks, we learned that when Jesus walked the earth, he not only did amazing miracles, but he also taught people all about God and his kingdom. And one of the ways Jesus did that was through the use of parables, which were earthly stories with a spiritual or a heavenly meaning. Last week we learned about the parable of the lost sheep, where the shepherd clearly represented God and his great love for us when the shepherd left the 99 to go searching for the lost sheep. Just the way God pursues each one of us while we are lost in our sins so he can bring us back home to him. On another occasion, Jesus taught a parable which also illustrates God's great love for us and teaches a truth about his kingdom. This is the parable of the vineyard workers. A vineyard is a place where grapes are grown. Now planting, maintaining, and harvesting a vineyard during Jesus' day was really hard work out in the hot sun. Oftentimes, extra workers were needed to get the job done. The owner in this parable goes out into the marketplace again and again and again to bring workers into his vineyard. Just the way God goes out again and again to seek the lost and bring them into his kingdom. Let's watch. Jesus told the people this parable. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. About nine in the morning he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, You also go and work in my vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about noon and about three in the afternoon and did the same thing. About five in the afternoon, he went out and found still others standing around. He asked them, Why have you been standing here all day long doing nothing? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You also go and work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going on to the first. The workers who were hired about five in the afternoon came, and each received a denarius. So when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more. But each one of them also received a denarius. When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. These who were hired last worked only one hour, they said. And you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them, I am not being unfair to you, friend. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. So, did it seem unfair to you that the workers who worked the longest got paid the same as the workers who worked less? In our human way of viewing things, this might have seemed unfair, but the landowner gave the first group of workers exactly what he had promised them. 
He was very generous with all the workers, giving them the same generous amount of money. If you haven't guessed it already, the landowner represents God, and the vineyard represents God's kingdom. Just as the owner goes out again and again to bring workers into his vineyard, so God goes out again and again pursuing us, wanting to bring each of us into his kingdom because he loves us. God doesn't want that anyone should be lost in their sins. He wants everyone to be part of his kingdom. And no matter who we are or when we come to faith in Jesus, whether we believed in Jesus at a very early age, which I hope is the case with all of you, or we're someone who came to faith in Jesus at a later age, we all receive the same wonderful reward, the reward of eternal life in heaven with God. You see, salvation, which is represented by the payment given to each of the workers, isn't dependent upon our own efforts or upon our own righteousness. Just as the payment in the parable wasn't dependent on how many hours each of the men worked, they all received the same very generous reward. So, in the same way, each person who accepts Jesus as Lord and Savior will receive the reward of eternal life in heaven. So did you notice that that first group of workers kind of had a bad attitude when the landowner gave them their money? They grumbled against him. They felt that they were owed more money. You know, we humans have a tendency towards self-righteousness and envy. We have to be careful not to think that we're owed more than someone else or that we're better than anyone else. And we should be happy for others, especially for those who join the kingdom of God. Remember, God invites all of us to be laborers in his vineyard. He doesn't want any of us to be sitting on the sidelines or to be lost in our sin. He wants all of us to come into His kingdom. And we can be part of His kingdom, not through our own efforts, but by putting our faith in His Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us. Then we'll all receive the same amazing reward, eternal life, in heaven with God forever. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for teaching us through this parable, through the words of your son, Jesus. Help us to remember that we don't get to go to heaven based on our actions, but rather through faith in your son, Jesus Christ. Once we have faith in Jesus, we certainly want to go out and do good things and, and walk in obedience to him. But it isn't those good works or actions that brings us into the kingdom. It is you, God, through your Son, Jesus Christ. We pray for anyone who is listening today who has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, that they would do so now, and that they would continue to watch these videos, read their Bible, go to church, and talk to others who know about you so that they can learn more and more about you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So the next time you see some grapes, remember the parable of the vineyard workers. Remember that God loves us so much that he wants all of us to be part of his kingdom. He generously gives us the greatest reward of all, eternal, eternal life in heaven with him. him.